Welcome to Sci-5, the show where we talk about five scientific and technological innovations that happened this week. I'm Chris Shea Couric, and this week we'll be talking about new states of water, a microscopic thermometer, and more. Researchers at the University of California have developed a new battery that has ludicrous amounts of reusability. As you may know, most mobile electronics require a battery, most commonly a lithium-ion battery. Although they are powerful and can be recharged between 5,000 and 7,000 times, lithium-ion batteries have their drawbacks. Along with being explosive in oxygen-rich environments, lithium-ion batteries are very hard to dispose of once discharged. The new battery, using nanowire coated in magnesium dioxide, can be recharged up to 200,000 times without any significant loss of power or capacity. With this new innovation, we may never need to replace a battery again. Scientists at the University of California, Berkeley have created an interactive brain map. This online map allows you to explore where words are stored, like spatial, visual, and social communications. Scientists scan the oxygen levels of participants' brain while listening to very specific radio programs. Data from this corresponding activity has been combined across patients to show a hundred different locations from both hemispheres where words are located. By gaining an understanding of where the human brain stores data, from this project, we hope to gain a better understanding of the development of Alzheimer's and may one day be able to translate human brain images into computer language. Oak Ridge National Laboratory has been experimenting with water to find out what happens when it confines in ultra-small spaces. The scientists are using materials like emeralds with hexagonal cavitations nearly a billionth of a centimeter in length. When put under these conditions, water begins to act strangely and express quantum attributes. The water in this situation begins to quantum tunnel and delocalize, meaning that it is not in one specified location at a time, allowing it to jump from one cavitation to another without being in either one at the same time. This type of phenomenon does not normally occur on the macro scale and is exclusive to the quantum realm, or the very, very small. This is the first time this type of interaction has been able to be seen with water. We're not exactly sure what types of technological innovations will come from it, though. Recently, DNA has been playing a very large role in microengineering. In one of our prior episodes, we discussed an 11 base pair long diode currently holding the world's record for world's smallest diode, made of DNA as well. This week, researchers at the University of Montreal have created a DNA-based temperature that folds and unfolds based off of the current temperature. The current molecule is 5 millimeters wide and can stretch to 15 millimeters wide under maximum temperatures without degrading. The new discovery should lead to a massive innovation in temperature recognition in chemistry. In terms of pushing the envelope for scientific innovation, few can compare to Elon Musk. His new idea is to improve the reliability of artificial intelligence through brute force in what he calls an AI gymnasium. This new open source software allows programmers to improve their artificial intelligence's reliability through training. This revolutionary gymnasium allows artificial intelligence programmers to set up scenarios normally impossible in the real world for AI to collect more data and generationally grow. This new program's hope is to get us one step closer to human level artificial intelligence. That's all for this week, and we'll see you next time on Sci Five. Yeah, it's just as you assume, and it's nothing but these humans who like to blame mythology for everything they're doing. They pray for non existent gods to clean up the mess, but never take responsibility, just claim it's a test. See that religion you've been given is shit, and it's all poison. And it's partially the reason we bleed, and it's all poison. Though your worldview is poison, and your outlook is poison. Deny it all you want, but the truth is it's all poison.